Welcome to my advanced tutorial for Ocean Monuments in RSG 116.1. Uh, there's a couple different strategies I use in this that are a little bit better than my basic tutorial. Uh, the first one being, as you can see, I changed my render distance down to two chunks instead of the 18 I play at. And the reason for that is it actually unloads the Elder Guardians so they won't be able to hit you with the mining fatigue while you're in the monument. This saves a lot of time where you don't have to have a bucket by this point or you don't have to go out of your way to get a cow and milk. Uh, you just have to be a little careful with it because if you go at the front or the side or over the top, it'll still strike you even with the two chunks. And the second strategy you'll see I use in this that I didn't use in my other tutorial is I'm putting down a door on every single one of the blocks I told you to mine. If you don't know which blocks they are, check out my basic tutorial. Um, and the reason for that is you get the full mining speed. That way you can mine a little bit quicker and get in and out a little bit faster. Plus, the door acts as really good coverage against the fish. So normally if you just put those doors down where you're putting them down, um... It can protect you from the fish single-handedly. And as you can see, I'm getting in and out of that within a minute 10. I never got mining fatigue at all, so I didn't need to get milk. I didn't need to drink milk, and I mined a little bit quicker by using the doors as A, coverage, and B, air pockets. So these are a little bit more advanced strats. Uh, definitely practice them if you're trying to save uh, every second you can in the run.